Have you ever heard of VBScript? It's an amazing language. All you need is Notepad to create your script. And to run your script, all you need is Windows. So I developed a CD-ROM that is about this amazing language, and it will teach you how to create your own code. VBScript is a lightweight language. It looks a little bit like Visual Basic for Excel or Access. So if you have any knowledge of those languages, that will help you to create VBScript. If you don't know anything about those languages, this CD-ROM will tell you how to create that code. It's not a complicated language. It's a lightweight language, but is for, it is for a wide variety of environments. As I told you, this CD-ROM has, it will tell you how to do all of this. It gives you 367 slides. How do you start and create code in VB script? Notice that we are using Notepad in order to create them. And we save files with an extension VBS, Visual Basic Script. All you have to do is type in notepad your first line of code to explain this a little bit the cd-rom has all kind of features to show you what the language does vb script has all subgroups of tools and one of them is the scripting tool and the file system object tool thanks to those two scripting file system object you can create a variable and thanks to that variable you can copy files, copy folders, create text files, open text files, delete files, delete folders. All you have to do is open Notepad. Notepad is probably somewhere on your start button. If not, try to find it in the folder windows. That's where we start typing our code. We set an object type variable. And instead of typing all of this, I'm just going to paste in code. So you can do that on your own if you want to, or use the CD to guide you to do this. Type that code, which I did very quickly. It looks like this. I will not go into all the details. The CD-ROM will explain everything in detail. We declare a variable that is based on the file system object from the VB class scripting. We create another variable that finds where we are at this moment with this file. We are in W script full name and we take everything minus the last backward slash. Then we give you a short message box that says we are scanning this folder for this path. Then we create two new variables that get a certain folder from your file system, finds all the files in there, and then we are going to create a text file thanks to the file system object. And we create that test file, we call it testfile.txt. If it doesn't exist yet, it will create it. If it does exist already, it will override the existing one. Then we loop through all the files in the folder that we happen to be in. And we write each line to the text file. And finally, we set all our variables back to zero. Once you have typed this code, all you have to do is save this file as a VBS file, so you can run it in Windows. So we are going to close this file, we save it, and we are going to make sure that we don't save it as a text file, but as a VBS file. I'm, I'm not going to call it test1.vbs, that VBS extension is vital, it creates like I'm showing you here, all kind of VBS 
text files. In this folder now, we will find way at the bottom test one VBS. All you have to do is double click on it and it will run inside Windows. You don't need any other application. It tells me what I had asked it to do, scanning this folder. And that's what it did. And you probably haven't noticed yet, but right there is testfile.txt. That's the file we just created. And it found all the files in this folder stored in a text file. So the code worked. I'm going to close this uh, testfile.txt and we are going to start another code. We open Notepad again. empty notepad file. I'm going to make sure that we create a file system object again. And we are also going to talk to Excel. So we create another object based on the Excel application on the system. Or Access, or Word, or Outlook, whatever you want to address. We make that Excel application visible. We add to the collection of workbooks a new workbook and on the first sheet of that workbook we are going to store all the file names so you can work with them, you can sort them, you can export them to other applications. So we are going to open a text file. We discussed already how you create a text file. I used the text file that we had already created a few seconds ago. We do a loop through all the entries in the text file and we store in the worksheet cell row 1 column 1 the first line then in the next loop I goes up by 1 so in cells 2 row 2 column 1 the next line 3 4 5 until we have reached the end of stream then we make sure that all the cells will be auto-fitted, so you can see the entire line. We set everything back to nothing, at least for the file system object. Then I give the user a message box. Here is the list imported into Excel. We close the workbook. We quit Excel and set the variable to nothing. Let's save the file by closing it. Again make sure that you don't save it as a text file but as a VBS file. Let's call it test2.vbs. Save it and there is test2vbs. Let's open it. and it opened Excel after it had opened the test file. It imported every single text line from the text file into here and the message box tells us this is your end result. So that is pretty cool. You have been talking to text files from Notepad, you have been talking to Excel, you have communicated between them, so you realize that the sky is really the limit. And as I said, I will not go into any further details. I want you to know that the CD-ROM has many more chapters. It tells you how to create variables, how to create loops and arrays. File management is what we just showed you, how to create text files, how to access files on your system. You can interact with Excel, you can do data validation, you can tap into Microsoft Access and ADO if you know what that is. We will go into how to create HTML pages on the web. We will also interact with Microsoft Outlook and its calendar. And we will deal with other programs on your system. 
to the right you will see all the files that you can use to start with. The CD-ROM also has the final files that have the correct code, so you can always test your own code and compare it with the code the way it should have been or it could have been. Every slide allows you to mark the slide, so you can always go back later to that same slide where you stopped before or where you wanted to. And at the bottom you will see that you can also start a search. You can go to the previous slide, you can go to the index of slides, so you have a, a very nice navigation system. All I want you to know is, if you want to know more about Visual B script, and I hope I have give you some feeling for it, then this CD-ROM is that I made for you to feel you make you feel very comfortable with what Phoebe script can do. You can order it from MrExcel.com, Amazon.com, Barnes and Noble, any place where you feel comfortable. And I wish you good luck with this exciting journey into the VB script land.